<sighs> yeah, your eyes actually look a lot better. Mm. Keep here. You look 20 years younger. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone should do this. It makes you 20 years younger. Except for your knees. <laughs> If you're only 22, you shouldn't do it. You'd only be two. This is a monster. <laughs> that brain is oxygen deprived. <laughs> you ever think about monsters? I try not to out here. <laughs> I have been thinking about how excited I am to try out that pillow I ordered. Did you say that we had to hang that bear bag for... Because there's a hole in the bear box? Because the rats are getting into the bear box. The mice. The, We're not in New York City. No, somebody said that there was a rat as big Ew. as a cat uh -uh. running around this. I don't believe it. <laughs> He said that it was or probably she. a possum. They're <laughs> 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 probably from New York and they've never seen a possum. <laughs> had to hang the, the bear bag for the possums that can climb. What the hell? They can't. Possums? They're too lazy. They can climb the living trees. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> they do? Yeah, they live in the holes, don't they? That's owls. <laughs> So we're hiking down into Dick's Creek Gap to hitchhike into Hiawassee and mom and I have been talking about the idea. Last night we had this girl, um, super awesome, and she just asked us like point blank, you know, have you, have you considered quitting yet? Or have you had like the thought to like quit? For us, today is day 11. That means 10 days of hiking, two kind of like... We're one Nero where we did like four miles. Today is technically a Nero. And the thought that like we've gone over a week and nobody has asked us that. We've seen a hundred people probably. And only one person out of that was balls enough to be like, hey, the Q word. You think about quitting it all? And it just took us aback. Like we know that everybody is thinking the same things that we are and that the mountains are hard for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're conditioned or not. You're just going to do enough mountains that day to make you tired. So we're kind of all on the same page and nobody enjoys the cold, wet mornings. And if you enjoy sleeping on the ground more than you enjoy sleeping on your own bed, you're a crazy person. But nobody has like even sat there talking about it. And just because your your brain flashes the like, you couldn't you could be sitting in your armchair watching Jerry Springer right now, but you're out doing this. Why? Why are you here? Like, people should not be as afraid to talk about that. I genuinely feel like if you are the kind of person that that's flashing through your mind, you need to talk about it. You need to understand that you're not alone. This is a tough transition for all of us, or most of us, I guess, especially people that are not athletic in their normal everyday lives that maybe do have pre-existing injuries or conditions and that's okay like you can talk about how much it sucks at times and you're gonna laugh with people and there's a difference between being negative and saying oh this all sucks and like totally bringing down that campground vibe 
that's completely different than saying, wow, that was a hard day. Like my knees hurt. I need to go to bed early. You know, asking someone around like, hey, what did you think about that mountain? Like we're all in this together and to isolate yourself and think that you're the only person that's having a bad day is not true. There was that one morning that we, we just call it the frozen hellscape. Yeah. <laughs> we call it the frozen hellscape and everybody is talking about that morning and it doesn't matter whether or not you were getting out of Neil's Gap or you were summoning Trey at that time, like we all hated it. And that's something that we can all bond with out here, but if you're stuck in the mindset that you can only talk about positive things and you have to like pretend like this is some rose colored glasses experience, then you're never gonna be honest with yourself. And for me, personally, this is not a journey to show what a badass I am or, you know, oh, how great my life is. Oh, I get to do all these wonderful things. Like this is, this is an experience that I knew was gonna be hard and I wanted it to be hard. Physically, emotionally, spiritually difficult. And if I'm pretending like it's not hard, then I'm a liar and I'm not gonna be a liar. I don't lie. She asked us that question and allowed me to be more honest with myself and say, yeah, actually, now that you mention it, there have been a couple of times where I was thinking that way. So just being honest is not only helping yourself, you're helping your other people, too, that want to say the same stuff. But they're so scared because everybody out here is like, Ugh, I'm a, I'm a badass hiker. I feel no pain. Everything is amazing. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not, man. Like, it's not amazing. It's, it's just like real life the moments of amazing there are there are shining moments of like oh, this is exactly why i'm out here and like it's so spectacular and it's you know whatever or even the tough moments that are so spectacular because you're like i'm persevering and you laugh about it and you laugh about it we woke up this morning we're crying we're laughing so hard well that's quite different from the other mornings i've woken up and my eyes look like a goldfish <laughs> and i can't blink because they're so swollen it's like I'm not a negative person because I'm telling you I don't like my eyes being swollen shut. <laughs> that doesn't make me a bad person. Train your eyes. Yeah, train your eyes. There's this awesome kid, his name's Spider Legs. He had everybody going around the fire, just like standing there, and he was like, come on guys, train your eyes. And everybody stood there like, looking at the smoke, looking at the smoke because nobody wanted to like be weak and move away from the smoke. It's just like, come on people. I know that we've all worked so hard to get here. Yeah, he was walking away from the smoke. I know we've all worked so hard to get here and I can't I can't imagine like a year of planning and the money and all of that and now we're sweating and grunting up hills. Like of course we're more happy than we are miserable. But you're not a crazy person if you don't enjoy waking up to frost and snow on the inside of your tent or smelling your own butt every time you sit down. Sorry, that doesn't make you a bad person. That just makes you honest. So, I don't know. Spiel over. We're going to take a stab at hitchhiking. We hope that it's some nice old lady with a van and air freshener. <laughs> That's what mom said anyway. I don't really care. I smell awful, but I don't, it doesn't like bother me. It's not that bad, I don't think. No. Uh -uh. You kind of just like, with your feet hurting and the stink and not getting to eat anything that you want, you kind of just accept it. You're like, all right, well, we're all feeling like that, so there's really no point in getting all upset about it, but I just, I feel really good. I'm super proud of us. 67.5 miles. Woo! Let's try and look like hikers and not hobos. So you gotta like stick your stick your thumb out. If no, only if it looks like if it's like a a nice woman. I'm not trying to get human centipeded. How about that guy? No. Nope. nope. That's a bale bale of hay. Bale of hay. Oh, but it was a woman. It was a nice woman with a huge bale of hay. We could have ridden on the top like a freaking hay ride. Maybe this one? You can't tell. No. That's a, that's a Mercedes. That's a Mercedes. We're not making that. No, we're too stinky for a Mercedes. We gotta get the next one.
Well, we've been out here for 15 minutes and nobody has even smiled at us. And then a sheriff just drove by and I was like, I was like, well, he's already seen my thumb. He's already seen my thumb out, so I don't know if this is illegal or not, but I guess I have to keep it out, but nope. He didn't even smile at us. Nothing. Uh, we're on YouTube. Oh, we're cool. Right somewhere. Yeah. Um. Well, we're going to put you on for 2019 now. All right. Woohoo! So, hitchhiking did not work out, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we got in a shuttle, actually, that a couple of people that we've met um, a few nights ago at Hawk. Oh, I really have a sunburn, don't I? They uh, just got out of John's shuttle. Do you have those cards? Yeah. Handy? Here you go. <laughs> yeah. And John, hey! Hey! <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, uh, I got a little. Uh uh. There's a shopping center. Uh, There's your Walgreens. Barney's okay. Tap and Grill. Oh, I see hikers. They're easy to pick out, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they see I feel like I've never been to town before. <laughs> I'm like a little kid at Disney World. <laughs> I've never been so excited to see a Taco Bell in my whole life. <laughs> well, wait, we have a surprise. <gasps> Starbucks! Starbucks! <laughs> Chocolate Asian Express. Starbucks. Do a Should we do a bite pass? <laughs> no, no, we're pass. good, we're good. <laughs> we need a shower before we go anywhere. Oh. A lot of coffee came out of this thing with cream in it. <laughs> There's running water here. We've only been out for t 10 days, but. What were we in? 2.23. But the pool is open till 10, and oh, we didn't have to walk very far at all. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wow. nice. No budget in for us. No. Not, not yet anyway. Not yet. Until we start running out of money. <laughs> Go for it! Oh, I can't very far. <laughs>